And here we go. Here we go, the lovely scar. Bunkhouse, it's a bit blustery up here today because obviously it's winter time, but you've got car parking and a secure fenced in area. Uh, if you're bringing kids or dogs and stuff, you can shut the fences uh, and they can't run too far in a nice area. Uh, you can get a good few cars parked on the grass and on the hard standing. Uh, and there's picnic benches whereby you can have barbecues and, and we've had the fire pit and stuff. And so you go in the front door, open that bad boy up, and in you go. Uh, nice out the uh, went front all for your shoes and boots and stuff and into the first bedroom okay so we've got alpine style um, sleeping platforms and settees in the front bedroom uh, you can sleep a good number uh, on the bunk settees if you're not going to use the big mattresses there's bit the smaller foam mattresses underneath and straight in we've got uh, the kitchen with cooker, toaster, fan heaters and stuff like that and um, fully stocked so it's got cutlery, plates, toaster, a little water heater you fill the water heater up and you can use that in a kitchen table uh, all pots and pans, utensils, fire extinguisher, all the stuff uh, that you need then we go all the way through, oh sorry, the electricity for this one it's controlled by a meter, okay, that's above the cooker. Okay, we open that up, you stick your pound coin in there. Oh, it's on, a lot of credit anyway. Okay, and that controls the electric for the front of the building. So this bedroom and the kitchen electric is controlled by the meter. We go through, we've got the cupboard with cleaning stuff, hoover, mop bucket, uh, spare bedding, toilet paper, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, through to the living room okay got living room comfy chairs loads of cushions and stuff uh, there's a stash of board games in the table a little TV DVD player and a, a fire uh, which is quite nice you get the fire uh, electric fire running and it warms this room up nicely and the second pound electricity meter is stashed away in here again on quite a bit of credit 42 pound credit we're all right Okay, loads of plugs for charging phones, fire alarm systems up here, so if you have a fire alarm goes off the reset button of the keys and stuff are there. And um, we've got the second bedroom. Okay, again alpine style with a little heater, loads of coat hooks. It's your standard mountain bunkhouse for you can get loads of people in here after a good day walking or doing activities down at the gorge, cave in via ferrata, abseil, get over and up in here. And you can have a good nice night, some food, uh, um, whatever. You can go out the back doors. The codes and the stuff are there. Okay, you go out the back door. And that takes you around to the toilet. Okay, so out the back door. There is outdoor storage in here. In this room here, you can use for muddy kit and stuff like that. You go out this back gate and it takes you round to the toilets for this facility. Okay, you got male and female toilets. They are the public toilets. Obviously, there's lots of car parking and more picnic area over there in the main scar reservoir car park. These are the male toilets. I'll take you around these. Okay, typical echoey toilets. You've got toilet cubicles, urinals, sinks and stuff to have a wash. Hello, I'm you and that's me. I'm your tour guide. Uh, standard, I'm not going to go into the girls, obviously, because there might be some young ladies in there, but uh, that's it. That's Scar Bunkhouse. Uh, like I say, it is what it is. Uh, it's a bunkhouse that can sleep a good number of people, and you can cook and stuff and have a bit of a bit of an adventure and do some activities. It's uh, a great little place. All right, thank you very much.